Okay, so good day class. So we are now in our lesson 3. Maintain effective relationship with clients or customer. Okay, so the prime uh, the primary purpose of household work profession is to enhance human well-being and help meet the basic human needs by performing a variety of the household services for an individual or a family. So this household services may include cooking, doing laundry or ironing, food shopping, gardening, taking care of children and or elders in other household uh, era. Okay, so professional codes of conduct ethics of a household worker. So the purpose of this household work profession is rooted in a set of core values. So these core values embraced by the by household worker throughout the uh, profession, history, and the foundation of the household works, unique purpose, and perspective. Okay, so the ethical principles. So the following broad ethical principles are based on the household works or values of service, dignity, importance of human relationship, integrity, and competence. So, these principles set forth ideals to which all household workers should aspire. So, okay, number one is the service. Okay, household workers elevate service to others above self-interest, they draw on their knowledge, values, and skills to help people in need of doing household services for uh, for them. Dignity. Okay, household workers treat each uh, each person in caring and respectful fashion, mindful of individual differences and cultural ethical diversity. So they seek to enhance customers' capacity and opportunity to address their own uh, needs. Importance of human, uh, human relationship. So household workers understand that relationship between and among people are an important vehicle for efficiency. They engage people as uh, partners in the helping process. Integrity. Household workers are uh, continually aware of the uh, profession's mission, values, ethical principles, and ethical standards, and practice in a manner consistent with them. So they act honestly and responsibly and promote ethical practices on the part of the organization which, uh, with which they are affiliated. Competence. Household workers continually strive to increase their personal or their professional knowledge and skills uh, and to apply them in a practice. So they should aspire to contribute to the knowledge base of the profession. Ethical standards. So the following, uh, uh, the following Ethical standards are relevant to the profession activities of all household workers. So these standards concern number one, household workers' ethical responsibilities to clients, two, household workers' ethical responsibilities to colleagues, and number three, household workers' ethical responsibilities as professionals. Okay, so number one, household workers' ethical responsibilities to clients. Okay, commitment to clients. Household workers' primary responsibility is to promote the well-being of clients through doing household tasks for them. And then number two is the self-determination. Household workers respect and promote the right of clients through assisting them and their efforts to accomplish their jobs at the most convenient time. Competent. So household workers should provide services and represent, uh, represent themselves as competent within the boundaries of their education, 
training, license, certification, supervised experience, or other relevant professional experience. Cultural competence and social diversity. So, household workers should understand culture and its function in human behavior and society, uh, recognizing the strength that exists in all cultures. Privacy and confidentiality. So, household workers should respect clients' rights to privacy. They should not uh, solicit private information from clients unless it is essential in the conduct of services. The next, access to records. <clears throat> Household workers should provide clients with a reasonable access, access to records concerning the household services rendered. Okay, so uh, sexual relationships, household workers, workers should undergo no circumstances engage in sexual activities or sexual contact with clients, whether such contact is uh, consensual or forced. Uh, sexual harassment, household workers should not sexually harass clients. Sexual harassment includes sexual advances, sexual solicitation, uh, request for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical con uh, conduct of a sexual nature. And then, derogatory language. Household workers, workers, should not use derogatory language in their written or verbal communications to or about clients. They should use accurate and respectful language in all communications to, to and about clients. And then payment for services. When sitting fees, household workers should receive fees that are fair, reasonable, and com uh, commensurate with uh, the services performed. Consideration should be given to the client's ability to pay. And an interruption of services. Household workers should make reasonable efforts to ensure continuity of services in the event that services are interrupted by factors such as unavailability, relocation, illness, disability, or death. And then the, the last is the termination of services. Household workers should terminate services to clients and professional relationship, uh, relationships with them which uh, when such services and relationships are no longer required or no longer serve the client needs or interest. They should take reasonable steps to avoid abandoning clients who are still in need of services. And then the number two is the household workers' ethical responsibilities to colleagues. Okay, number one is the respect. Household workers should treat colleagues with respect and should respect uh, represent accurately and fairly the qualification, views, and obligations of a uh, colleague. They should cooperate with the household work, uh, household work colleagues. Uh, when such cooperation serves the well-being of clients, and then next is the confin uh, confidentiality. So household workers should respect confidential information shared by colleagues in the course of the relationships, the work, and work. And in consultation, household workers should seek the advice and con uh, counsel of colleagues whenever such consultation is in the best interests of clients. And in the sexual relationships, 
household workers should avoid engaging in sexual relationships with colleagues when there is potential for a conflict of interest. The next is the sexual harassment. So household workers should not sexually harass colleagues. Sexual harassment includes sexual advance, uh, sexual uh, solicitation, request for sexual favor and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature. And then the impairment of colleagues. Household workers should, uh, household workers who have direct uh, knowledge of a social work colleagues, impairment that is due to personal problems, psychological distress, substance abuse, or mental health difficulties, and that interferes with practice, uh, effectiveness should consult with that colleague when feasible and assist the colleague in taking remedial action. And then incompetence of colleagues. Household workers who have direct knowledge of a household work colleagues, incompetence should consult with that colleague when feasible and assist the colleague in taking remedial action. And the last is an ethical conduct of colleagues. Household workers should take an should take adequate measures to discourage, prevent, expose, and correct the unethical conduct of police. Okay, so number three is the household workers' ethical responsibilities as professional. Okay, competence, the household workers should accept responsibility or employment only on the basis of existing competence or the intention to acquire the uh, necessary competence. Discrimination, household workers should not practice, facilitate, or collaborate with any form of discrimination on the basis of race, ethnicity, national origin, color, sex, and then sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, age, marital status, political belief, religion, immigration status, or mental or physical disability. And then private conduct. Okay, household workers should not permit their private conduct to interfere with their ability to fulfill their responsibility. And then dishonesty, fraud, and deception. Household workers should not participate in or be associated with dishonesty, fraud, or deception. Okay, impairment. Household workers should not allow their own personal problems, psychological distress, legal problems, substance abuse, or mental health difficulties to interfere with their performance. And then misrepresentation. Household workers should ensure that their rep uh, representation to clients, agencies, affiliations, services provided, or results to be achieved and or are accurate. And then solicitation. So household workers should not engage in solicitation of testimonial endorsement, including solicitation of consent to use a client's prior statement is a testimonial endorsement from uh, from current clients or from other people who are vulnerable to undue influence. Okay, so let's proceed to the uniform equipment and paraphernalia of the household workers. Employers may require their uh, domestic employees Domestic workers to wear a uniform. And, uh, live, uh, live or other domestic workers clothes. Uh, when their, when in their employer's residence, the uniform is usually simple. Uh, female, uh, servants wore long, uh, plain dark colored dresses or black skirts 
with the white belts and white blouses, and black shoes, and male servants and butlers would wear something from a simple suit or a white breast dress, dress shirt, often with tie and uh, sneakers. Okay, so here's the example of the uniform. So we have an apron and housekeeping skirt and pants. Okay, so apron is an outer protective garment that covers primary knee, the front of the body. And then housekeeping skirt and pants is an outer protective garment that covers the body for female. Okay, so the word protective for pronoun yeah, most commonly refers the tools and materials we use in or necessary for a particular activity. So, okay, so below is the example of a worker's protective paraphernalia. Okay, so we have hand towel. It is used for wiping and drying with a wet hat. Long sleeve used for covering the arms, protect arms from heat, dust, and insects. And then, protective mask, it is used for protecting the mouth and nose from inhaling dust and chemicals while working. And then, protective gown, used for protecting the dress from dirt. And then, protective shoes, it is used uh, to protect the feet from any harm. And then, hair net, used to prevent the uh, the hair from pulling while at work. And then long pants used for protecting the legs against dust, heat, and insect bite. And then gloves. It is used for protecting the hands from cuts, burns, and other related uh, incidents. Okay, so now Let's proceed to the personal hygiene and good uh, grooming. Okay, personal hygiene refers to the practices that leads to cleanliness and health preservation. Examples of, examples of personal hygiene practices include hair cutting, shaving, brushing teeth, patting daily, nail clipping, and etc. It also refers to a good personal appearance. Hygiene encourages personal health. Personal hygiene is the first step to good grooming and good health. It is an ongoing task. So as you can see the picture, there's an example of an ongoing task, ongoing task, bath or shower daily, brush and clothes daily, regular exercise, and wear a little perfume. Okay, so... Letter B is the good grooming. It is, is knowing what to do and putting it into practice on a daily basis. It starts before you put on your clothing. It means taking care of your hair, skin, face, hands, and your total body, total body. And then good grooming can lift your moral and help increase your self skin. So good grooming. It is structured to two. Okay, good grooming is structured to. Okay, unanjan is understand the importance of creating a positive impression, behave appropriately at social and business functions, enhancing and corporate and social image through dressing, understanding the basic grooming is all about cleanliness. Uh, tidiness and hygiene and how how to manage personal hygiene understand the importance of nonverbal communication through a uh, facial expression posture and behavior and understanding the uniqueness of uh, cultures around the world and how to apply the skills of cultural understanding to become more successful in the global business environment. Okay, grooming those and those.
Okay, so grooming do's and don'ts. Una dyan, wear your hair clean in style, neatly. Use deodorant. Shave your facial hair. Uh, trim your beard if you're sporting one. Do not use a lot of perfume or cologne. And do not smoke, chew a gum or spit tobacco. And then do not have dirty fingernails. Trim and scrub hands if necessary. And then clothing those and those. Okay, wear a clean iron clothes, empty packets. Empty packet, be, uh, beware of ball game case and coins. Don't wear loud bright colors. And these colors can be used as far, uh, sparingly as accents are or accessories. Okay, the letter C is the uh, etiquette. So etiquette is the foundation of having a social Great. Okay. So, etiquette. So, uh, con constitutes from forms, manners, and ceremonies established by the convention as acceptable or required by society in a profession or in an official convention, uh, official life. It is also considered as the ability to reason and do the right thing at the, at the right time. So, ayan. So, etiquette is the foundation of having a social gift. Una dyan, look the person you are speaking to, uh, look the person you are speaking to straight in the eye. So, this give the person the impression that you are interested and very attentive. And then the second, avoid distraction which might result if you spare other things other than the person you are speaking to. And then, think before, during, after you, during and after you speak. And do not speak with your mouth full. And then, speak in a gentle and a pleasing tone. And then, avoid use of slang, swearing, or any other bad language and then do not interrupt people while they are uh, talking and then refrain from sarcasm or double meanings in your conversation and then try to keep the main topic of the conversation away from yourself and then refrain from discussing people's private affairs, affairs of secret. And then try not to speak ill of others. And then reserve a cheerful topic for conversation. Speak only about things you know. And then make introductions to make new friends. And then remember to respect others. And then maintain a behavior that does not offend others. Look your uh, best at all times according to the time, place, and occasion. Do not eat or drink in a place that is not designated for such and then do not groom yourself in a public and then maintain a proper decorum before uh, choose. Consider others and be sure not to make noises that may bother others. Okay, so desirable feats of a household purpose. Okay. Okay, what is a household worker? So a household worker is a person who works within the employers. Okay, so household worker is the person who works within the employers. Household. So, household workers perform a variety of household services for an individual or a family from providing care of care for, uh, for children and elderly dependents to cleaning and household maintenance, known as a house thing. The responsibilities 
We also include cooking, doing laundry, and ironing, food, shopping, and other household uh, errands. Okay, so desirable drinks for household workers. Okay, we have a loyal. So, follows clients, rules, regulation, policies, procedure, and etc. So, pag namin namin natin trustworthy, a person can prove his trustworthiness by fulfilling an assigned responsibility and as an extension of that, do not live down expectation. And then, honest, to so perform his job duties and accuracy and responsible, perform his perform his job duties in a manner that demonstrates uh, he understands his job's goals, duties, and job description. And then industrious consent, uh, consistently exceeds, exceeds job description expectation, respectful, okay, respectful, Pull, shoes, respect for customers, authority, and responsibility. And then cooperative, cooperates with other employees or uh, to achieve common objectives. And then flexible, willing to change to how to perform his job as his job's responsibility is change. And then this is uh, decisive, exercises sound decision making skills when uh, needed. Punctual, uh, it is the characteristics of being able to complete or required tasks before or at a previously designated time. Okay, punctual is often used syn uh, syn synonymously with on time. Okay, so duties and responsibilities of a household worker. Okay, so household worker is anyone you pay to provide a domestic services in your uh, household, such as, okay, uh, babysitters and nannies, uh, caretakers, health aides and private nurses, housekeepers and maids, gardeners, landscapers and yard keepers. Drivers and choppers and personal assistant, personal uh, chefs and cooks. Okay, so let's, uh, okay, so speci uh, specifically the following are the duties and responsibilities of the household workers. So, unanin dyan yung cleaning. So, the domestic worker will be assigned in certain areas in the home for a specific task such as a daily cleaning or a deep cleaning, daily chores and bulb cleaning floors, furniture, windows and all rooms, doing laundry and ironing, maybe among duties as well, a deeper, a deeper cleaning such as shuffling carpets or not done as often. And then next, child and elder care. So a domestic worker may also be assigned the care of children from infant through adolescent. In this instance, experience with children is needed. So caring for infants and toddlers places more demands on the worker. So some responsibilities involved in the child's care and bathing, diapering, feeding, supervising, and entertaining. An older new member of the household may also need a domestic worker's skill. This work may involve batting, companionship, and assistance with doctor visits. And then cooking, uh, some domestic workers prepare the family's meal. When this is the case, it is good to know the family's preferences. A throughout cookback, a cookbook, Offering varied dishes will help the domestic worker prepare a tasty meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If the worker does not cook on weekends, 
She, uh, she sometimes prepares dishes ahead of time that family members can conveniently eat and share themselves. Okay, shopping. Okay, shopping may be a task for a domestic worker also. Duties could involve keeping groceries stocked in the uh, pantry and buying household items. And then the employer needs to give a shopping budget and guidelines to follow. A shop domestic workers and responsibility and uh, responsible for shopping are responsible for shopping for a family, clothing and larger scale household items and appliances. And then next is the laundry. Okay, so household a uh, housekeepers may do laundry daily or prepare a schedule to do it. So this may involve checking household laundry hampers, which may, uh, may be in a central location in the laundry room. To do the laundry and housekeeper uh, separates white colors and delicate up apparel. When the clothing is dry, she removes it from the dryer to minimize wrinkles, clothes, uh, are then ironed and folded and placed back into the proper drawers in a cloth. And then the uh, last is the child care. So if the if there if there are small infants and toddlers in the house, the housekeeper may be uh, responsible for caring for them. It is important that the housekeeper is trained and first aid and CPR with the smaller children and it's, and it's very attentive. Older children may uh, present in the home after school hours and the housekeeper may be have to pick up uh, the child up from school and transport him to after school activity. Okay, so aside from uh, the specific task mentioned earlier, okay, a household worker expected to dispense some of the following tasks as part of her or his duty and responsibility. Okay, so here's the task or part of his or her duty and responsibility. So clean rooms, hallway. Lobbies, lunches, restroom, corridors, survey, locker rooms, and other work areas so that the health standard, standards are met. Okay, empty baskets, empty and clean space, and transport other trash and waste to disposal area. And dust and polish furniture and equipment. Clean rugs, carpet, upholstered furniture, and uh, wrappers using vacuum cleaners. Keep uh, storage areas and carts will stop clean and tidy. Okay, so <clears throat> wash windows. Okay, so sweep, scrub, walk. Uh, sweep, scrub, walk, or polish floors using rooms, mops, or powered scrubbing and wax waxing machines. And then wash windows, walls, ceilings, and wood work, waxing and polish, polishing as necessary. And then carry lines, towels. Carry linings, towels, toilet items, and cleaning supplies. And then replenish supplies such as drinking glasses, lines, writing supplies, and bathroom items. And then hang uh, the rares and dust windows blind, polish uh, silver accessories, and uh, metal work such as fixtures and fitting. Move and arrange furniture and turn 
smart missiles and disinfect equipment and supplies using a herbicides or steam operated uh, utilizers. Third, clothing and other articles, load washing machine and iron, cold dried items. In the sort, sound, and mark clean uh, linings and store them in a linen closets. And then request repair services and wait for repair workers to arrive. And then wash dishes and clean kitchens, cooking utensils, and silverware. And then answer telephones and silverware, other bells. Okay. And then assign duties. To, stop, to other staff and give instruction regarding work methods and routines. And then care for children or, or elderly persons by overseeing their activities, providing companionship, and assisting them with dressing, uh, bathing, eat, eating, and other needs. And then run errands such as taking laundry to the cleaners and buying groceries. Plan menus and cook and serve meals and uh, refreshments following employers instruction on instruction or on methods and then purchase or other groceries and household supplies to keep kitchen staff and record expenditure. So that's the uh, other duties and responsibilities of the household worker. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for uh, listening.